Here we go. It's a beautiful morning. And it's gonna be pretty warm today. And I'm ready for a little adventure. We'll see how my body holds up. Oh, I feel good so far. But I haven't gone very far. <laughs> Look at that. This is my backyard, baby. I love it. I'm heading that way. All the tallest peaks all the way out south. That's where I'm that's where I'm going. I'm going up the Sanitas Valley Trail now, which will get me up to the top of Sanitas. Whew. Long way to go. <laughs> taking a break here, getting some water, sitting away from the crowds on Sanitas. And since it's the week of gratitude and being thankful, I figure that I'm gonna stop at the top of all these mountains and talk about what I'm grateful for. And number one, right now what I'm thinking about is I'm so grateful for my healthy body. Even though I have COVID right now, a virus, I'm incredibly grateful that I can do this, not only today, but every day I can run and ride my bike all over Colorado and the world. And I get to share these stories with you. And I just, I'm really happy because I'm going to be 45 in two months. And I feel strong. I feel as strong as I've ever been. <laughs> as strong as I was when I was running cross country in high school. And uh, yeah, very grateful for that. Indeed, and I think it's because I've stayed with it. I've made exercise a big part of my life. I'm not obsessive about it, but I definitely try to get out almost every single day. And that's keeping my body healthy. Whoo! What's up, Shadow? Doing good, buddy, doing good. Heading back up to Red Rocks, and you can see right behind me, beautiful Sanitas. Oh yeah, whew, Red Rocks. Oh, I love this spot. I've been coming here since I was a kid, climbing on all these rocks. I remember coming here in high school with pretty girls sitting up top looking at the the lights of boulder twinkling down below no making out today gotta keep moving <laughs>
There's my beautiful boulder. Yeah, Shadow. Looking good. And here we are at one of my favorite places in Boulder, the Flagstaff Amphitheater. For those of you who don't know Boulder all that well, this is the first flat iron. And right there is Green Mountain. I'm heading up to that mountain. And then behind that is South Boulder and Bear Peak. Okay, time for gratitude station number two. And while I was running up here, I was thinking a lot about how I'm just so grateful for this life, this wonderful life that I get to live, for being able to wake up every morning in this beautiful town, for having a loving family and community of friends and for feeling safe. You know, I've been paying a lot of attention to the Israel-Palestine conflict in Ukraine and Russia, and it's heartbreaking what's going on over there. So much death and destruction and suffering and Oh, it, it impacts me a lot. It hurts my heart to know that other humans on this planet are, are just suffering every single day. Even humans that aren't in conflict zones, who are just living in Honduras, where I served in the Peace Corps, and they're picking food scraps out of landfills to get enough calories to make it through the day. And that's something I never need to think about. And, uh, you know, on one hand, I'm grateful that uh, I do live this wonderful life, but uh, I want everybody on the planet to be able to thrive like I do. And it hurts when I see images of people who are just, just suffering so hard. So I'm sending out a lot of love to all the people around the world who are, who are having a hard time. <clears throat> you know, I do my best to lead with love every day and every decision I make. I try to support organizations financially and with my time, but I know it's, it's just little old me. I'm not going to make a gigantic difference. I can't solve all the world's problems, but I do my best. And at the end of the day, you know, I like to go to bed knowing that I tried to make the world a little bit better. Maybe it's just my community. Maybe it's just my neighborhood. Maybe it's just my family. Maybe it's just me some days. And, uh, that's, that's, that's what motivates me every day. How can I make this world a better place? And maybe just put a smile on somebody's face. <sighs> All right, I better get going because my body's getting tight. <laughs> I have a cool story about this little cabin. I remember in elementary school coming on a summer field trip, part of a summer camp, sitting on these tables right here and pounding designs into little strips of leather. It was the first time I had ever done that and I made like a little belt. And I'll never forget it. It's, it's interesting how we can recall things from so long ago. It seems like another lifetime. And it feels like I'm just sitting here once again as a little kid with all my friends having fun. The first time I ever made it to the top of Green Mountain was my freshman year of high school, 1994. Kind of a long time ago. And I remember thinking, oh man, this is gonna be so hard. It was 16 miles to run from Boulder High School to the top of Green Mountain and back. And I'd always been a runner, but I'd never run that kind of distance and especially not this type of vert. And I remember thinking, oh gosh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. But slowly but surely we made it. And that may have been one of the first real challenges of my life 
where I overcame something that I didn't think I was gonna be able to do and it felt so good and it filled me up with just confidence for the rest of the cross country season. Here we are. Woo! Look at that. Have I told you that I love Boulder? I love it. That's my town right there. Look. And to make it official at the top of Green Mountain. Oh, hold on, I can do this. I think I can. <laughs> you gotta get to this thing and hit the buzzer. Bum bum bum. Woo! Look at all of those beautiful mountains. Okay, gratitude station number three. And you know what I'm thinking about right now? Or I've been thinking about for the last hour? That's one of the best things about running or biking. You have so much time to think. And I am so grateful for all of you sitting on your couches or your computer chairs right there. I'm so grateful for you. Because without you, I wouldn't be able to do what I do for a living. It's an absolute honor to be able to travel the world and share stories with you. And uh, it's incredible. And I love being able to interact with you and help you on your own journeys. We've created this wonderful community of people. I don't know a lot of you in real life, but I know some of you and you're all awesome. <laughs> and, and I just, I'm very, very thankful that this is what I get to do for a living. This is a dream. All right, so there's Bear Peak, and there's South Boulder Peak. <sighs> yeah, this, this is hard. This is hard. Oh. <laughs> Getting to the top of Bear Peak is not runnable, as you can see. A lot of rocks. And they're slippery, be careful. Bear Peak, ladies and gentlemen. And you really get a perspective on how flat the city of Boulder is. And then boom, the Rocky Mountains, the foot of hills start up just west of town. And you know what I'm thinking of right now? What I'm grateful for? My corazón, my heart. And it's thumping pretty hard. And something that I do now after I run something hard or I ride my bike up a steep mountain and I can feel my heart going crazy, I put my hand on my heart and I just thank it. Good job, heart, way to go. <laughs> Thanks for getting me here. Once again, I'm very grateful for my strong heart because for most of my young life, I had extremely high blood pressure and I was on medication every single day to, to lower my blood pressure. I'm much better now, so my heart has had to work overtime throughout my entire life and I keep on asking more of it and it keeps on providing. So thank you, corazón. Look at these cuties just waiting for their owners. Hi guys, hi, can I pet you? Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, you're so sweet, both of you. Okay, one more big mountain to go, South Boulder Peak. We got this. Luckily, South Boulder Peak does not take long to get to from Bear Peak, but here I am. Oh, man, it feels good. I'm really glad I got outside today. I was wondering whether or not this was a good idea with COVID and everything. And I think it's a really good idea. I feel amazing. I feel so good. And I'm just glad that I've been out in nature all day. Such a stunning, stunning, beautiful day. And then I have Thanksgiving to tomorrow to look forward to. Oh, that's what I'm grateful for, just being able to be standing on South Boulder Peak right now because I didn't know 
how far I'd get. I really didn't. This is like my fourth day of COVID and it hasn't hit me too hard, but still it just makes things a little bit harder when you have a runny stuffy nose and a little bit of a headache, but I'm feeling pretty solid. And it's all because of this. Woo. All right, I'm done with all the big mountains, which feels great, but I'm still pretty far away <laughs> from where I need to get home. <laughs> so I'm gonna start hustling down uh, the canyon here. I think it's Shadow Canyon or something. And make my way home. The sun's gonna go down in like, I don't know, a little over two hours, it's 2 p.m. What's up, Shadow? We're almost done. Woo! Way to go, buddy. Whew. Now I need to take a bus home or something. I am on the other side of town from where I live. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please uh, like and subscribe and do all those things that you're supposed to do on YouTube, right? And stay tuned for some more adventures on feet or on wheels who knows anyway you guys are awesome happy thanksgiving cheers